Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So Monster Hunter Wilds isn't even out yet, but guess what? We now have access to the beta game files. That means we can check out character models and even start modding before the game officially drops. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to access these files, import them into Blender, and use them however you want. So if you're excited about the game and can't wait for the official release, this beta gives you the perfect chance to practice your modding skills or just explore the game assets. And the beta is completely free. Now let's get started. We need to download a few tools. I've added all the download links in the video description for easy access. Step 1. Download our e-tool. First, go to Patreon and log in. Then on this page, which I put the link in the video description, click the download link to get the RE tool. Step 2. Get the list file. Head over to this GitHub page, click on the project folder, then scroll down and find Monster Hunter Wilds. It's this one. You'll see three different versions. Make sure to download Beta 2, as that's the one we need. Click on it, and then download the file like this. Alright, these are the tools. First, start by creating a new folder. Give it a name that makes sense. Once that's done, open the RE Engine file, and extract all of its contents, these files, into this new folder. Next, find the list file we download and copy, then paste it into the same folder. Now, open the folder and locate the file named extractpack.bat. This file. We'll be using this in a minute. Before running it, create a new text file anywhere you like and open it. Now, drag and drop the extract pack.bat into this text file. You'll see some informations appear after that. Look for the line that points to the list file. It's this line. We need to update it to the new list file. Go back to the folder, locate the new list file, and copy its name. Make sure you include the dot .list part. Now return to your text file and replace the old line with the new name we just copied. It should look like this. Once that's done, save the file. Now you're ready to extract game assets. Alright, for this process, you'll need the game itself. I already have it. Once you have the game, navigate to the game installation directory. This is mine. Now locate the rechunk.pack files. These are the files that store everything, including character models, mesh files, and textures. We only have two pack files for the beta version of the game. The first one, which is this one, this is the base one. It contains the mesh files. And the second one contains the texture files. Now, first select the base file, this pack file. Then drag and drop it onto the extract pack.bat file. Once you do that, the extraction will begin. This is how we extract it. This process will take a little while, so be patient. And when it's done, it says press any key to continue. When you do that, this will close. Afterward, you'll notice a new folder named RE chunk in the same directory as RE tool. The files are inside this folder. Everything is nicely structured inside it. But before we dive into that, let's also extract a second pack file in the same way. Now we have both files extracted, let's move on and import the models into Blender. Let's download Blender. I personally download the latest version. But older versions will work just as fine. Once you've got the blender, 
We also need a plugin for it, the RE Mesh Editor. You can download it by clicking on this link. Go ahead and install Blender. Then open it. When Blender starts, select General as the default project. Next, select everything in the scene and press Delete to remove all the default objects like camera. After that, head to the Modeling section. Now, let's install the plugin. To do this, go to Edit, then Preferences, then Add-on section. Here, click on the small icon on the top right and choose Install from Disk. Now, navigate to the location the directory you downloaded the plugin file. Select it and click Install. Once installed, search for the plugin's name in the add-ons list. Then find it and make sure it's checked, meaning it's enabled. And then you can close this window. Now that we are ready to import the mesh files, let me quickly explain the folder structure inside the RE trunk folders, so you can easily find what you're looking for. First, open the RE trunk folder and navigate to the STM folder. Now, for the models, for the character models, go to Art, Model, Characters. Inside this folder, you'll see few directories, few other folders, like CHOO, which contains the head mesh files for the characters, just the heads, and CH01 contains the hair mesh files, just the hair. Let's open CHOO first. Inside, each folder corresponds to a different character. If you open them, and navigate through the subfolders, you'll eventually find the mesh file for the character's head. This is it. This is the file we'll be importing into Blender. For the hair, go to CH01. The folder structure will be identical to CH00, but only these two. And the mesh files inside will be for the hair. Simple as that. Now let's get to body parts. For the male main character, the mesh files are inside CHO2. For the female main character, they are inside CHO3. Inside each of these, you'll find different folders for the various armors. Inside each armor folder, there are subfolders for different parts of the armor, like gloves, torso, and legs. In the end, each of these will have a mesh file inside, and that's the one we import into Blender. For NPC characters, check inside CH04. However, keep in mind that NPCs only have one mesh file for the whole body. Their head and hair are still in the same location as the main characters. For example, these characters' assets are stored in this path. Now, once we imported these mesh files into Blender, we'll have meshes but no textures. Because the textures are located in the other trunk folder, although they are in the same directory for each mesh file. Go inside the second trunk folder and copy the natives folder, then return to the main trunk folder and paste it here. This will take a bit of time, like 30 minutes, not 2 hours, don't trust this. This is a lot simpler than locating each texture individually. And what this does is put the textures and the mesh files inside the same directory, same folder, so Blender can apply them, unmodeled, automatically. Ok, I am done. Alright, now that we got everything set up, let's import the mesh files into Blender. Go to File and select Import. Then choose the RE Mesh option and select RE Mesh Model. Now navigate to the mesh file you want to import. Find it. Once you find it, select it and click Import. Give it a few seconds 
and there you go. You should now see your mesh file, the model, and the viewport. To view the textures as well, change the viewport to these settings. There you go. Import all other parts of the character as well, and then you will have a complete model. Once everything is imported, you can start editing the model, apply animations or do whatever you want with it. However, some textures might give you trouble, like this one. You may need to manually adjust them in the shader section to fix these problems. And that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful and you have fun with it. Keep in mind, this was just a prototype guide. When the full game releases, I'll include a complete modding guide and offer more support for the game. If you're interested, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and good luck.